Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be fixing Bluetooth problems in Windows 10. So let's get started. So first off, what you need to do is make sure that your hardware is working correctly and there is no failure in the Bluetooth device, i.e. the card or the dongle that you're using. Now, if you're using a laptop, it may be a dual card, which has Bluetooth and wireless uh, enabled on it. And also, if you're using a PC, you may be using some sort of dongle, just like you can see here. Now make sure that these are not faulty and they are working correctly and if they are okay then you can move on to the next thing. Make sure that the wireless is turned on or Bluetooth device is turned on on your laptop. You can use the function keys to enable this. You should see a little light there uh, illuminated to tell you that the device is working correctly. Now the position of this varies from laptop to laptop so make sure that it's not a switch on the side or it's a button it could be any sort of switch or button just check to make sure that they are enabled also go into the bios of your laptop or desktop and make sure that you've got onboard bluetooth enabled and you can see here this one is enabled this is an older type bios but if you've got more modern type bios like this one then make sure that you've also got the bluetooth controller enabled inside here otherwise it won't work and these are common mistakes that people make they don't turn these features on and then of course they can't get on bluetooth you should see in device manager your bluetooth enabled once you've got it all working just like this it all should be uh, blue with the little uh, bluetooth icon if you see any yellow exclamation marks it means you've got a driver issue you can then go on the back of your laptop and look at the sticker and this will give you the model number of your laptop and also the serial number and other information just like you can see here once you've got this information you can go to the laptops manufacturers website whether it be dell uh, lenovo uh, or whatever it is you're using go there and search for your bluetooth drivers you'll see on here bluetooth drivers now if it's also a network driver it may be uh, underneath the network section you may want to check there and download those drivers and install them onto the laptop or the desktop to get that to work correctly now once you've got that done what you want to do is go into the settings of your windows machine go into devices here and make sure the bluetooth switch is turned on if this is not on you're not going to be able to get your bluetooth devices to connect you should see a little icon down in the bottom right hand side here there'll be a little uh, bluetooth icon here you can right click on this and uh, start to use your bluetooth device and that's basically how you can get that to work once you've followed all these steps hopefully you should be up and running now if you're still having some sort of issues you may want to check also the services here go into services and uh, open up the services pane you'll see a bunch of bluetooth ones inside here look for the bluetooth support service and make sure that is enabled if you've been tweaking your system you may have turned this service off and it won't work with this disabled so if it says disabled here double click on it and what you want to do is put it to automatic and this will give you uh, the bluetooth service whenever you need it if you put it on manual it'll only come on uh, every time you switch the switch on it will turn itself off so you want to maybe put that onto automatic that's my uh, uh, preference there so let's move on to the next thing here make sure inside your network adapter so go settings here and go into network up the top here and you should see either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. If you see Wi-Fi, click on it. And if you see Ethernet, you can click on that one if you're on a desktop. But there, you want to go to uh, Show Adapter Options. And inside here, you should see your Bluetooth device. If it's disabled, then you need to enable it. Right-click and enable it. Once you've got that done, it will start to uh, get ready. And you will also see a little red cross here. That means you haven't connected any Bluetooth devices is enabled and ready to use so just connect to a Bluetooth device of your choice now what you can do is also use the troubleshoot by typing troubleshoot inside here if you're having other issues go into the troubleshoot settings and look for Bluetooth and run the troubleshooter here sometimes this does resolve the issue you can run this here and hopefully uh, you should be back up and running once you've run this if you're still having problems after you've done all these steps then there could be an hardware issue the dongle could be broken or the actual uh, network card or something like the bluetooth card could be broken and you may need to replace it you can always try another bluetooth dongle uh, they're pretty cheap to buy 
and uh, just give it a try and see whether you can resolve the problem. Uh, another thing you can do is try to reinstall Windows and see if that resolves your issues. Uh, but other than that, you should be back up and running with no problems at all once you've done these steps. And Bluetooth is pretty straightforward and easy to uh, try and resolve. As long as you're not having any sort of hardware issue, then these steps should get you back up and running. So once you go back into your settings here and into your devices, you should see your Bluetooth all enabled and working. And you should be able to connect to any of these devices or add a device uh, that you're trying to connect to. And once they're paired up, you're pretty much good to go from there and you should be able to do whatever you want to do. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. I think that should resolve your issues. Now, obviously, if you are still having a problem, it could be hard. You need to determine whether it's a hardware issue or whether it's a software related issue or Windows, something like that. You need to check all those things and run some fixes and hopefully you should be back up and running. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Have a nice day. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.